Hey guys, uh, let's go over seven. 1470 shuffle the array. So the, so the uh, question says, given the array of numbers consisting of two n elements in the form of this over here, and if you notice, uh, is this array is actually divided into two, uh, x and y. Return the array, so we want our result in array in the form of over here. And if you look, it's x1, y1, x2, y2, and so forth. Okay, let's look at our first example. So the example has a nums array and it has an n of 3, right? So we have nums 2, 5, 1, 3, 4, 7 and n is equal to 3 and this problem actually looks uh, harder than this problem is actually easier than what it looks like that's what I meant so we have n of 3 and we have 6 elements here right so we want to divide uh, this array into 2 and this is going to be x and this is going to be y and the first one here is going to be x1 x2 x3 this one is y1 y2 and y3 and we want our output to be this, right? So how do we get that? So result is equal to n array. So first number is going to be this one, x1, 2, 3, which is our y1, and 5, our x2, y2 is our 4, x3 is our 1, y3 is our 7, 7. So 2, 3, 5, 4, 1, 7. So it's correct. This is how you uh, get the result. So now let's code our solution. So first thing we're going to do is declare a function name shuffle which takes in two parameters, nums and n. And nums is an array with numbers and n is a number. And this is where we're going to, we're going to cut the nums array in half. Now what we're going to do is we're going to declare a variable that x is equal to nums.slides0 to n so this is our first half of the array and y is going to be our next half or second half and, and if you want to see the um, array for x so first solution we have our two five one three four seven array and n is equal to three right so if you look at x we we did a slice on nums array 0 comma n so that got first three numbers and if you check uh, y it gave us next three or the second half of the uh, array okay looks good and what we're gonna do is we're gonna declare a variable let result is equal to an empty array and this is going to store our result and let's return our result for later all right looks good Alright, now what we're gonna go what we're gonna do is go over or loop through each element in the array. So let's decode, let's make a for loop. For let uh, is equal to zero. We're gonna start at index zero. Uh, is less than nums dot length divided by two because the length of the uh, array is halved. And we're gonna increment by one. Okay. And I'm just going to make a variable cx for current x value. And this is going to be x at index i. All right. And I'm going to make another variable cy, current y value. And this is going to be y at index i. Now, what we want to do is we want to alternate between x and y and put the current value into the results array. So we're going to do result dot push and we're going to do current x first because what the, that's what the problem says and result dot push current value of y. Okay. So if you look at our result, we get 2, 3, 5, 4, 1, 7 for the first one. Let's check. Two, three, five, four, one, seven. Okay, looks good. Second example: one, four, two, three, three, two, four, one. One, four, two, three, three, two, four, one. Looks good. And the last one is one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So there you go. Alright, guys. Uh, let's go over our code one more time. So first thing we did was declare our function, which takes in two parameters, nums and n. Nums is an array, and n is a number, right? And uh, what I did next was um, I split the nums array into two. 
x and y. So if we work with um, our second example, which was uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, and n was equal to 4, right? It's our input. So basically, uh, half the array into 2, obviously. And the first half is our x, and this is our y. So here, x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and y is equal to array with 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and what I did next was declare a variable for result, which is an empty array, and we're returning that result over here. Now, um, I'm gonna try to go through all the numbers in the array. So I just made a for loop, and we start at index 0, and we loop until um, nums.length divided by 2 or you can do x.length which is the same thing or y.length it's pretty up to you and we increase i by 1 so we want to go through every number in the array and I just made uh, another variable to store current value of x and current value of y and result now let's go to our result so I made those two variables and if you guys remember it's x1 solution and y1 and x2, y2 and etc. So we want to always push in x first and then y. That's why I did result.push current value of x and then result.push current value of y. So let's go through our array. So in the first run when i is equal to 0 and i is equal to 0 this is our result. Okay. When i is equal to 0, current value of x is 1 over here, 1, and current value of y is 4, so we push in 4, and then we're done, right? When i is equal to uh, 1, we want to push in, well, we had 1 and 4, so we want to push in 2, 2, and 3, and now we're done. When i is equal to 2, we want to push in 3 here, and 2 here and we're done with the loop and i is equal to 3 we want to push in 3 3 2 we want to push in 4 here and then last one our 1 here and this is how we get our result which is this over here 